Welcome to the Oz and Mini Podcast, episode eight. Eight. Wait, wait, wait. We've reached eight episodes, uh, and um, we are joined by our co-host, myself, Mini Wise, obviously, <laughs> and our guest, Lucifer. Right. <laughs> Introduce <laughs> yourself here. So, sorry, I I nearly sneezed. Sorry, I'm Lucifer. A oh, tissue. A tissue. We all fall down. <laughs> And that was the end of the Black Death. I was about to say that. <laughs> Talking of pandemics, education. <laughs> That's such a random segue. Okay. <laughs> that was like the weirdest way to end, to start it. Yes, yeah, education. Cool. Today's topic, keep cool in school. We don't want you to be stressed like a madman or stressed like a uh, banker at... Um, when the market crashes again, eventually, or Boris Johnson oh, yes. currently, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Boris Johnson, yes. Actually, no, that's just a Bor- That's just normal Boris Johnson. I don't even know if he is stressed. That's a topic for another day. <laughs> nah, actually, no, Jeremy like Corbyn's Theresa- more stressed. No, stressed like Theresa May trying to come up with a Brexit deal. Stressed oh, like oh, Theresa May stressed. trying to come up with a dance move, but um. <laughs> Especially a dance move. But, um, so yes, let's talk about education yes. and how to deal with stress during school. I, I feel like this is a very relevant topic for us because a lot of people are going back to school now, myself included. Uh, I will still be on the podcast though, don't worry. You won't Somehow. miss out on your weekly mini moise. Uh, uh, depends. So yes, let's talk about... Uh, how we got to the point we are now, I guess. So we shall start with Minnie, because you're the smallest one here. I actually don't know how tall Lucifer is, but probably taller than me. 6'4". <laughs> oh, there gosh, we go. Okay, I'm sorry. I bow down. <laughs> when don't you? Is that because the uh, education system you were prior to this one doesn't do anything <laughs> until you are in university? Um, yeah, and um, hopefully with um, we also have Lucifer. Um, tell us about your more storied um, education history. Well, mine was a little, little bit more complicated because I moved quite a well. I moved had about four different schools in my time. Like, uh, yeah, first one. I mean, uh, as you know, the one I say the most at, which was just stupid, was a boarding school f- for my primary, and that was that was very weird, especially since the head teacher decided that she could say more just about education and literally like monitor like everything. That was weird. It was like all of a sudden she was telling us what how we could have our nights and. That was really ridiculous. Um, yeah, I've actually only done one GCSE in my time, though, because my last place, last school, uh, was a private one at a care at my care home, which, for some reason, decided that the only time that they would get GCSE maths in, but they could, they only decided to get GCSE maths, uh, no, GCSE English, uh three months before I was due to um, leave, which was really ridiculous. I mean, And uh, how old are you now, can we ask? (laughs) uh, Nearly 17. Oh, okay, okay. So GCSEs are a recent thing for you. Well, uh, over a year ago now, but yeah. I was about to say, though, that is Uh, a... um, That is an oversight, clearly, by the... um, Local authority there. Um, I first, it, it's a clearly a, a strange situation, but um, that unfortunately happens. At least um, last week's podcast, talking about what happens when you don't have the results you have, we'll do we'll do some wonders. But um, 
at least now I'm guessing um, how are things now since you've finished education I'm pretty good so far I mean obviously I started started college that was a you it was a big step up compared yeah, to I can imagine. <laughs> yeah compared from the broken education that well kind of broken education I was getting at my care home yeah. to going to college and actually knowing that to be honest everything was semi all right even though even that was a bit of a stupid situation because mm -hmm. yeah because even though they go from a place that's being run by well the head teacher is the teacher uh to a place where it's actually got employees and stuff you'd you'd think they could sort it out 100 percent, but still it's broken Apparently not. <laughs> broken britain all around should i keep going with my <laughs> education <laughs> sorry i had to uh briefly leave uh so um so yeah like i said i'm doing a levels now yeah, you're That's doing nice. four stress A levels. Yes, I'm doing one more than the uh, average. The I mean, I guess if you go to college, you only do one. I mean, yeah, it depends. I'm doing for... four. Yeah, I did three. Um, and yeah, I... if you go to college, you only do one, right? It depends on no one or two. No, some people do three. It really depends oh, on. Okay. It really depends on what kind of college you go to, how good your grades were in GCSE, and what you have applied for. Um, oh, many enough. you, uh, many most people um, who don't go to sit form go to college, and there are quite a few people who go into university from college. So... Well, I don't really know much about the college side because I do A levels. And yeah, like but I said, colleges I'm doing for... do A levels. Colleges, some most colleges do A levels. Um, some colleges, uh, m nearly all of them do some form of B tech or um, other equivalent. Uh, is usually a B tech in a sense, but B tech's obviously more technical. A levels are more exam based and very very stressful. Talking yes. of very, very <laughs> stressful, um, for you guys um, listening right now, um, you will know that um, I've actually not, I've, I've not um, updated the, um, I've not updated the uh, creator dashboard, so it still says the, it's a uh, podcast episode seven. Um, oh, well done. <laughs> hey, we, were, we were in a bit of a rush today. I will admit. <laughs> but It's um, not your fault, Oz. <laughs> Have you spoken about your education, Oz? Uh, or would you like to take it away right now? <laughs> take it away right now. I went to school. That's it. I'm joking. Congratulations. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, the end. Goodbye. <laughs> I went to primary school. Duh. I went to well secondary done. school. Duh. Um, I did 10 GCSEs. Which is well done. What is it? I did eleven. Wait. I did more than you. Ten yeah. is the average. Ten, well, no, ten is what most people do. No, ten isn't no? the average. What's the average? The only reason you did eleven is because you had a language. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but I did eleven. <laughs> yeah, because you had a language in it. I know I had two some... languages in it. I had two languages. Well, I know. I had one language. I had, well, two languages technically, if you count English as a language. Are you counting Latin? Oh, I thought you were going to count Latin. I so wish I, I did three Latin. if you're counting English. I actually asked to do Latin at one point. <laughs> oh, you strange child. Hey. I am strange. Right, keep going with your education. <laughs> I exist. If we want this in an hour. I did it and uh, well came out with grades that I weren't approving of but uh, everyone else was your GCSE grades were great mate no they weren't yes, oh they were. stop it when you're just just keep going stop with the guys only got one to your 10 yeah yeah i know just to be fair going. yeah there's that but then again i yeah when i was in when i was at that time right a levels in... what was that like stress big stress lots of work it's actually more stressful than the university first year is it actually? Yes. It's more oh, stressful than first year university. Because um, <laughs> you have to do all the work. You're not specialised completely in one subject. You 
are dealing with three or four subjects. Um, <laughs> I know people who can. I there are actually quite a few people who keep on doing four um, through to the second uh, year of uh, A levels. Yeah, I, that's me. <laughs> I did. I did four and then dropped one. Um, oh, I've got them all the way through. Yeah, but that's lucky me. Yes, I know. <laughs> Right, and then you went to university. Yes, and I mean, I... Because you're an old man. What? I graduated last year. <laughs> yes, congratulations, you have a degree. Yes, and you... How stressful was that? <laughs> First year, not as stressful as A-levels. Second year, as stressful as A-levels, but you can get through it a lot easier because you are... You've got a better support network than you are in A level. You've got a better support network. You've got a better um, specialization, and you can concentrate more on your degree yourself. Third year, you are screwed unless you are putting in the work and having many nighters. Or I mean, you will have some nighters. Um, are guaranteed. Uh, due to... that's definite. I actually want to make make it through uni without doing a single all nighter. I dare That's you my to. goal. That's my goal. I actually will. So achieving the impossible. I've I made it through GCSEs without an all nighter. I made oh, it I made it. I made it through one, GCSEs so. and A levels without all nighters. Well, I will. I will prove it. But this is not what we are on about. <laughs> what you put in Mission Impossible? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, uh, a thousand words for you won't be too hard because uh, tiny fingers <laughs> on keyboards. Good for me. <laughs> so, um, with all of the, um, as I was talking about the stress, um, how did you guys cope with the stress uh, pertaining to exams, pertaining to just school life in general? We'll start with um, the smallest one here, Minnie. Oh, I can start again. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Well, definitely during the exam periods or when coursework was due. <laughs> oh, gosh, coursework. Um, I mean, for coursework, you just got to do a little bit every spare second of your life. And the more you get done, like you set yourself little goals. So you'd be like, today I'm going to achieve this, and tomorrow I'm going to achieve this. So make yourself a little plan, and then actually achieve it. Otherwise it's kind of pointless. And, especially, and what I found during exam period especially, is that I forced myself to go do some exercise. Three times a week, I went to the gym just to help myself feel better and because it it releases like good hormones which makes you feel happy and motivated basically the better version the healthier version of chocolate so i was actually it wasn't three times a week i was doing it every single day yes i was also losing weight at the time uh which was good for me yeah that's how i coped you coped by keeping fit by keeping fit, I highly recommend, honestly, best way. I know a lot of people will just be like, nah, I can't be bothered. I was actually working out in my bedroom with a friend because... Wow, I'm you have a one bedroom. Of those weirdos. I also have friends. <laughs> oh, well, I was uh, clearly because I'm here. <laughs> Yes, but I obviously wasn't working, working out with you, was I? <laughs> Clearly no. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. because whatever exercise I do is outside. No, just put the win keep the window open. Put on some YouTube videos of um, instructors, I guess that's what you call them. What, you and, put YouTube uh, videos of Justin Bieber? <laughs> he's not an instructor, thank you. Um, no, actually, just, no, just if you guns. want, I can find the 
exact YouTube videos. We're getting distracted. Yeah, we are. Let's move on to Lucifer. To be honest, when it came to my exams and stuff, I, and school life in general, I found that the most, if with coursework and stuff, I ended up uh, having, I basically ended up having about an hour of study time and then just chilling for the rest of the day, but making sure I got it done. So like an hour every day until it was either A, done or B, well, just it was done really, but I, yeah, I didn't find that with me when it came to trying the exercise, because I did try that at some point. I found that I, was, I thought I was just like more tired for when I was actually trying to do the coursework because I'd done it before then mm -hmm. exercise and it was just there was really it was just useless for me. Oh well, each their own. <laughs> yeah. When what time were you doing your your exercise though? I I kind of done it what kind of an hour after I got back from school, so probably what probably about. Like five-ish? Five yeah. Oh, uh, five yeah. Well, to be fair, I was on study leave, so it was nice late to wake up. <laughs> oh, well, come on, you did study leave. Work. That just made it a lot easier for you, then. You got study yeah, leave. Yeah, that's why I did it. Yes, I got study leave. Everyone gets study leave. We didn't. During mm -hmm. your GCSEs, you had to go to school. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I technically live in school, so... So, how did you cope with stress, Oz? By making jokes like that. <laughs> of course he did. He became a stand-up comedian on Saturday nights in the pub. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I know a friend of mine who actually is a stand-up comedian. Make some money on the side and reduce stress. <laughs> Although, in honesty, I reduce stress by making more work for myself. Which, hang on, it doesn't necessarily make sense, but I had, um, I obviously going out, getting photos of transport, uh, because I am inevitably into transport stuff, including buses, trains, planes, and, well... Boats! <laughs> I have not blogged about boats <laughs> yet. Yet. Don't Watch worry. out! Next week's uh, next week's blog post will be about boats. No, it's about <laughs> electric buses. But um, <laughs> yeah, because that's way better. Uh, and boats. Okay, yeah, I'll keep going. <laughs> I know Minnie likes the um likes international waters, so she can get away with many other things, which is why she likes boats. Um, <laughs> but um, back to back on track. Um, I kept on track by uh, going on the tracks um, on a train. Um, I used to just travel around to uh, help clear my mind. Um, after school, I would uh, go to a certain outlet in uh, my local area to eat a proper lunch. Uh, so I could get, um, you have to have, you have to be fed well. I um, had to, you have to eat well in order to ensure that you are keeping to track and staying awake. I um, ensured that my sleeping pattern was existing. Um, yes. And most importantly, I ensured that any resemblance of social life I had, um, I kept. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say it became non-existent. Now that's <laughs> yours, Minnie. But, um... I will not disagree. <laughs> well, hey! And we definitely... have a winner. Because social uh, interactions, um, one, ease you off the loneliness of having to study on your own. Two, you can study with them. And three, most importantly, you can relax with each other. I love how there was a hesitation there. <laughs> it's just like, relax. Relax. We like, all know what that means. <laughs> wow. It's not that. It really isn't. It's quite essentially going out uh, and having a meal or have, I mean, 
I'm not that at that time I wasn't old enough to have a drink but um, later on in university we would just have a meal or just get a drink um, just to relax and uh, just socialize <laughs> I didn't drink alcohol so go figure I still okay. don't we know can't relate anyway um, but definitely um, though getting nine hours of sleep and eating well is very important and drinking a lot drinking more water, water <laughs> drinking more drinking water it's water that's um, that you have to go for not yes. just any old thing energy not drinks your is, energy drinks, not your energy no. drinks because they no. will be harmful in the long term um, Big X. But with uh, water, it is uh, hopefully clean. Uh, it is uh, hopefully, it was, um, you know, it's fairly, there's no additives. Um, there's whatever the, uh, whatever the uh, stuff that there is in either bottled water or your tap. But um, other than that, it's, um, you can drink a lot of it and you'll feel hydrated. I drink way more water than many, even now. <laughs> and it means that I'm it's... not good at staying hydrated. Why it does means... it seem like why does it seem like we're trying to sell water to people? Water also, does plants, does people, water. it's great. <laughs> bottled water is not good because unless you are reusing the bottle, I actually took a nice water bottle and into my exams, remembering to remove the tag so I don't get it. So I don't get a what I call disqualified from my GCSEs, and I did lots of drinking. This sounds so weird. I mean, Minnie does a lot of drinking apart of apart from water. Obviously. Clearly. It's how I it's how I cope with life. You don't cope with life, Minnie. Wow, that's now life's think coping I'm an me medicine. Life's coping medicine, alcohol. True. We uh, are not we don't, spreading the right ideas. We don't advocate this oh, because, no. <laughs> but we know this is a solution that many people do. Um, we do have a uh, another thing that we could go from that stress is um, how do we um, how what is your advice to um, people who deal with the stress that isn't associated necessarily with School. School. <laughs> yes, because you do have um, social pressures that also appear. Social pressures? Yes. Um, I'd like to start with, with in terms of social pressures, um, my personal advice is that um, I've had to deal with people who wanted me to do things that I don't necessarily want to. I've had people who have told me, okay. Examples? <laughs> drink. Oh, okay, I see, I see. That's yeah, a keep going. And yeah, if you say no, it's no. And also... And also, um, other things include, uh... Sk skipping a bit of, uh, skipping a bit of revision, or, um... V using a lunch break to actually go home, rather than just using it as a proper lunch break, or something like that. It's... Yeah, and also um, dealing with how to maintain a social life. There, there are some stresses there, and um, uh, A levels and GCSEs are a very good way to. They're, they're a good um, stepping point to try and pick out who are your real friends, who are the people that are willing to stay by you, and uh, who. Yes. Uh, so, how did you deal with your social pressures? I. Uh, just, said no. <laughs> yes, you say no, you uh, sort out your friends, and you, uh, I mean, in my case, I also started to merge my friend groups, because then there would be less stress from having to go to multiple groups by making them one big group. Okay, that sounds way more complex than I'm sure it actually was. <laughs> I mean, we. I mean, also, we do have another guest here. Oh, do we? Who yes. is it? Introduce yourself, you brush. Hi there. 
Oh, My we have brush. brush. Yeah, it's me. Uh, Hello, welcome. I'm, I'm probably the youngest person here who has just finished their GCSE exam. You are, yes. And I've got a lot to say about it. Oh, well, I mean, but take take the th in summary. I'm done. With the this world round. is your oyster. Take the ceiling. Um, I mean, you were talking about like social pressures to do with like juggling social life. Yeah, go go for it. I'm I'm and, listening. Uh, and studying, it, it was it wasn't so much me juggling. Me, most of my friends weren't trying with their exams and that do I want to fall into that pit not doing anything because like every weekend these people were having like house parties and things like that and it, you, you guys know me I'm not a very active human so I was always like no that's and, good got to focus well, I, 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 I don't want to, like, develop any really bad habits for when I'm out in the world, you know, like, the dangerous slippery slope. The big wide world. Also, um, with, uh, Lucifer, um, because I know you had a varied school, uh, experience, mm -hmm. uh, did you, did you have many social pressures or things as such during school to uh, ha to tend to I mean hmm, there was like a, there was one of the big ones I think was with a group was smoking that was one that could have, was probably the biggest for me and to be honest I still it's even not yet out even out of school it's kind of one of the things I'm still kind of dealing with because I have some other people and stuff um and I feel and I don't see why people would want just to get people into that because it's like you know why it's basically saying waste your money on cigarettes and you know for you it's like to be honest I've had to deal with that and when it comes to it, I've literally just ended up having to walk away most of the time because it's like, if you just stand there and argue, it's like basically, why are you giving into it? Why are you arguing about it? Resist the people. Exactly. It takes a lot of to like, just like, even though they, like, we all talk sort of situation. And everyone's all like, oh no, I would never do cigarettes. But then when you realise you're in that situation, it's a lot different, so it takes a lot more power. So yeah, that's definitely. really good. On, like, it's a lot more dehumanised when they give you, like, in school, they talk about, oh, if you're ever offered a cigarette or drug, always say no. And there isn't one kid in that class who say, well, well I'm going to. It's serious. It's a bit, like... Oh, but they're my friend. It takes a strong person to be like, no, thank you for offering, but I don't want to. It'll and then stand. Watch them, um, uh, whatever they do, and yet um, still um, say, okay, I'm still not going to do it. I'm going to just deal with you guys and look after you afterwards. Quite difficult to say. <laughs> because I know what I want to say, but it's what you also just wait until after your public exams to go get drunk wait until you're legal to get drunk and wait until the, the drug is legal to do said drug I didn't even drink after I got my was very, neither like, did I neither well. did I I had a really oh. sad GCSE time No. And now you're I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get offered any of these social things I should say no to. I didn't get offered to come to people's parties. I know I seem like a really popular person. I actually am. I just have a very specific situation that I'm in, which means that I am. Yeah, you just surround yourself by the right. Sad. You surround <laughs> yourself by the left people. I am left-handed. <laughs> 
and you also surround yourselves with the Asians. I'm neither left-handed or Asian, so I don't know. Correct. There we go. That's one person. I'm ambidextrous <laughs> in Asian, so. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to, um, how do you? I mean, uh, considering we had to deal with exam period, I we we actually touched upon this uh, last podcast. Uh, how we yeah. deal with uh, stress during exam periods. Um, I presume most of it will be fairly similar to what we've talked about before. But is there anything that you guys want to add to any anything that we've already said to deal with um, stress during exam periods? Stay healthy. Specifically. <laughs> Or, or just in general, like the stress, dealing with stress, exams. But... Lisa, do you have anything to add? I mean, I always found also that a hobby would work amazing. Yeah. I mean, I I managed to get back into my hobby of the uh, of playing the drums, and that was roughly before just before the exam period, and that generally helped me get through it. I feel I that releases loads of stress. Just yeah. like Oh, it really does. Basically hitting something. It's literally like whenever I whenever somebody annoys me or anything, I just get really angry or so. I just play drums, it's just all of a sudden just goes away. Just rock it out on the drums, yeah. I mean That's what it doing it. Yeah, it I was lifting your... weights and you were drumming. And <laughs> I was running around taking photos of buses and trains. And that ended up leading, <laughs> and that ended up leading to even different. more work to um, work on to the WLTM Travel <laughs> Blog, which is our second sponsor of the day. Um, visit them at www.wltmtb.co.uk. Um, it covers London's transport as ever changes. It's been running for seven years, and that includes my GCSE times. It's actually when I started it in GCSE, and um, you've been around for that long. I wow! Been, well, I had impressive. <laughs> if you think about it, it's two years. It's two years of um. GC, you get two years of t GCSE, uh, starting year ten, going to year eleven. I had two okay. years of A level, uh, year twelve, year thirteen, and then I had three years of uni. That's seven years. Okay. <laughs> it's. Yes. It really isn't that, um... So if you want to know what buses were like seven years ago, go visit. <laughs> yes, the early posts aren't exactly as great, but um, the, the current posts are actually much better. Um, also, please do click the um, adverts in the um, blog. <laughs> it does greatly help with more content. <laughs> Going back to the exam stress, I am... Um, oh, I just got out that sort of, I don't feel like I've changed a lot because you know you hear horror stories like especially people like about the, they were like oh you need to get like top grade all the time and you know you need to have that power to self-reflect yourself and set your own goals and not what other people expect people expect of me like top tier grade and you know I, I did well well enough to do what I want to do but you know you have to set realistic expectations for yourself and do little and off is what I and but, I found that it helped me I mean it does ease um, stress but um, you do have to remember that the teachers are also there to push you um, they're there to try and get to squeeze the best out of you and um so we have covered um school stress um so and dealt, and dealt with that um now any questions from the floor uh, from we the people we listening we do have questions uh from the uh from the ceiling um let us answer the ones the, the stalactites that the, the, there really aren't any questions per se but i do oh. have something here uh dread wolf okay. uh, has stated i quit sick form after my first year and went to college now personally i uh went to a sick form uh which is quite it felt more like an extension of school it felt more like an extension of a uh, sec of secondary school 
but um, college, I'm guessing you had more independence. You had uh, your own clothes to wear, of course. Sometimes you'd be able to have easier days. Um, your hours were, you could leave the premises in order to have lunch, in order to have um, uh, certain things. If your lessons were done, you could just go home. It depends, really, on the college. Um, the experiences do depend between person and person, between college, between each college, between each sit form. And uh, yeah, uh, it, if you're going to if you're going to deal with um, applications coming up, uh, if you're in year eleven right now and you are thinking what are you going to do next post uh, post sixteen, um, it really depends on what you want to do either in the future and how well you learn in certain types of environments. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Also, uh... Can I just say, learning is different depending on what subject you do. Yeah. Very, very different. Very mm -hmm. different. So I take four A-levels. Pretty much have nothing to do with each other. Take two languages, business and psychology. So I'm pretty varied. And I mean, my languages, all I do is just talk to myself constantly. In when don't Spanish you? Or French or that. My mirror must hate the sound of my voice. You, you might be talking to yourself right now. So do your walls. Your walls hate you. All the friends that live around me hate me. Live around me, yeah, but you said you just said all the friends this. around you hate you. <laughs> also, um, and then wait, 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 I'm stopping. And then for business, I learn, I learn better by drawing out the little diagrams and the models and writing out the keywords. In psychology, you just you plan every single S possible essay that could come up and learn it. And it's so much work, but it's so fascinating. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, all the different ways you do it. It depends on your yeah. It depends on how you study, how well you study, what you can do. Um, I had in contrast, I had uh two similar um A levels in uh in physics and maths so a lot of these clashed and indeed it actually meant that um, there were some applications especially dealing with uh, force diagrams and uh, applications of forces on a plane and um, ensuring that um, sounds were dealing okay and ensuring that uh, you know the mathematics were fairly similar I could apply one on the other. Um, obviously, there are some concepts that are, are fairly visual, so I sometimes had to watch videos to uh, deal with um, certain concepts. I uh, there was a, quite a bit of uh, trying to do past papers, trying to do questions and problem set. Um, there were also some uh, some things I had to deal with in terms of. Um, the physical, uh, the uh, practical side. Um, I, in contrast, my third A level was history. Um, reading, well <laughs> reading, and uh, I didn't. I didn't necessarily plan for. I. 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 I sometimes had to deal with um, when I did past papers. A lot of the time, we just planned, but never actually wrote the essays. Um, I did write some of the essays, yes, because we had obviously practice past papers and stuff like that, but quite a lot of it is planning what you're going to write. So, uh, we know, oh, if, um, a certain aspect of uh, civil rights came up, um, we'd know what to write in the exam paper, we'd know what to write in a given, uh, coursework. Um... So it wasn't as um, new. Uh, we could adapt, and the planning meant that if there were questions that were worded slightly differently, we could necessarily adapt uh, our planning. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do for 
psychology. I'm guessing more planning than writing, but still planning a lot. It's literally, you plan every. So, the textbooks are about, uh, I'd say, like, 200 pages each. Oh, and that's uh, every, thin. That's thin. Every, no, they are thin, they are thin, but, but they're written by psychologists, so they're packed. Um, and basically, every double spread is a different essay title, so it's like probably 100 when I finish the entire syllabus. That's pretty cool. So wish me luck. <laughs> Please wish me a lot of luck. <laughs> I mean, what about the rest of the rest of you lot? Yeah, what about the rest of you? Talk to us. <laughs> I'm taking English literature. Yes. Yeah. History, and psychology. Mate. Good luck. <laughs> so three written I... subjects of which. Um, <laughs> They all involve essay, essay, um, essays, it's and so they all work. involve a lot of reading, a lot of dealing with um, your your um, lexicon is uh, you are yes. going to is love stretched it and hate it at the same time. Oh yeah, I'm sure I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> And are you doing this in a sit form or a uh, sort of like a remote college sort of a sit form? Ah, oh, sit form, like me. I'd be no, I do it like a school. No, nah, that that still counts as sit form. Okay. Yeah, because a sit form setting is more akin to school than a uh, college. And uh, talking of college, uh, Lucifer. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm doing a um, level two music course in September. Oh, that's that's fun. Uh, yeah, it's changing yes. from my catering course last year, which I thought I'd enjoy, but it was really just a hassle. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah, it's actually following my passion because obviously I'm a, I, as I mentioned earlier about the drums and stuff. It's yes. more, it's more you know catering to what I want to do more than just what I thought would be a better career. And uh, it's yeah, I'm guessing it's uh, if you do something that you enjoy, it means that uh, you'll be more into it and therefore it'll be a lot easier to do better in it. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. I feel. I mean, even in the interview, I felt a bit more into like up for it. It was less stressful interview than it was in the catering course because with that I wasn't a hundred percent sure of it, and it's more like a, well, I've done it at school. Why not move move on forward from that? And but with this, it's more. This is a hobby. I'm into it. I play the drums. Let's make it work. You know, th there have been times where I think I could just I could be an archivist if I wanted to, and I've studied his if I studied history. Let's there, if there's it. if there's any questions from the floor, like for and then example, wrap up with our sponsors. Uh, we have here from Power Dwarf Kira. It also in catering course. I know the suffering. Um, Pip wants to ask about what about clashing with tr with teachers. My response is. Uh, if you are clashing with your teachers, um, there's a lot of stress uh, for not food. Uh, yeah, <laughs> buy them food. Genuinely, yeah, yeah. buy. Find out what their favorite like biscuit is, and then just buy them those. Or not. Yes, if not, just buy them mystery biscuits. Um, yes. Because this is not citation needed. No, because that's what we will be playing at some point. But. Um, Okay. Honestly, uh, Citation Need is a good game to play but with your not mates. That's what we're on about right now. And honestly, um, if you are, if something is up with teachers, um, my advice is talk, talk it out, to them. talk to them, sort it out. Um, outside of the school, um, like, it's the stretcher. Yeah, outside the classroom, just. Um, maybe like after school just go up to them and just be in a very um calm matter uh what's up um 
and try and see what differences you guys have to um, solve together. Uh, you also have from Power Dwarf Ki Kira. You have you have any random exam stories? I have a friend who has passed his Spano or Spanish oral by writing everything in his hand. Oh yes, random exam stories, other than oh. sleeping in many Ooh. many maths. Can relate to Spanish one. oral writing things on your hand. So I I French and not hand but paper. But my God, my French teacher was um was a godsend in helping us uh nudging us into the right direction which sort oh, of oh yeah gcse sorry gcse french it's your actual teacher who examines you so they give you little hints because it's just a voice recording so they give you little hints behind the, the yes. table sometimes they like we point get an, you get an external examiner they don't give you anything they yeah start you blankly. Teachers. Yeah. mine didn't do that he just watched me start crying <laughs> That's sadi oh that's very sadistic. That's so like, mean. He asked me a question and I was like, I'll answer it. Can you that's stop? So mean. I Aww. mean, to be fair, uh, he's, yeah. He's really honest. But though, he's the best teacher I've had. Aww. I mean, to be fair though, um, it, it depends on your experience. Um, obviously, uh, I managed, I obviously had... I think it's like I got a B in the exams and I got an A, a high A, in the um, the teacher assessed parts, the uh, speaking, uh, which led to a oh an overall A, A A A. <laughs> it's it's all the basheries, um, A A A A A. <laughs> Are you Stop getting being Canadian. Um, for, what about um any interesting uh exam story? Oh, I um once started choking on water in the middle of my English <laughs> literature exam. <laughs> I, I I was getting really anxious about writing my story because oh, and I and I somehow still got an A star star for it, but um A star star. star yeah, grade star. nine now. Star oh, star. just call it grade nine. Oh, well, well I, I don't know if like you old folk. No, no, it's it. just called an A star. You never had double asterisks. No, star star is actually the nine. I sat half of my GCSEs in numbers and half of them in letters. The I nine, the nine is either. what we call a high A star. We never had um any of that sort of thing. Yes, you only had up to A star. I had a combination. And everyone after me has numbers, so lucky you. This is true. Regardless, I the invigilator started staring at me with really dead eyes, <laughs> and I had to try and desperately contain myself because it was like Stop I was I was choking. making I was I was trying not to make a scene in the middle of the exam hall. I, I didn't have any water left, so I couldn't like try to. Stop it! So I was just sat there, <laughs> silently crying into my oh, arm. Really oh, <laughs> the signs Sorry, of Shakespeare. Really the plays of Shakespeare. <laughs> Documented on the internet forever. At uh, least for in your soul, um, GCSE. Uh, did you have any um, <laughs> interesting in my stories? Three papers stretched out between like three separate days. Which all just came together as one. That was annoying. Um, no, there wasn't really any story I could say because it was literally just me and another person in the room with the um, it, the flipping adjudicator. So it was nothing. Nothing too. Thing happened. Nothing happened between you and the other candidate. I could speak for like minutes about stuff that's happened in my. Like it's honestly. I, I think I'm a disaster magnet. And on that bombshell, um, we will give thanks to our sponsors, uh, Many Moist on Instagram. It's I'm the sponsor. Sorry, I forgot I was. Yes, my Instagram. Go follow it. Visit it at Instagram.com forward slash Mini underscore Moist free, not moist, not... because yes. Mini is moist currently. Um. <laughs> We are dry on my Instagram. 
somehow because it's full of fur. And our secondary sponsor is the WLTM Transport Blog. Visit them at www.wltmtb.co.uk. Can I just say before you, I have had a follower <laughs> from wherever this podcast started. Wow. Um, so People sort of follow it. you. And People on. Actually look at it. And yes. we give thanks to our, our on time guest, Lucifer. You're welcome. Our very late guest, Brush. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we give thanks to our um to to my my other co host thing. Your other co host. Oh thank you. I really appreciate that. And we give thanks to you, Art. Yay. Congratulations. And upon uh, and uh, yes, uh, from now on, your podcasts are going to be at a slightly shorter format of about an hour. Because I have a life. And because I like to keep my editing to a smaller amount. Because Oz has the life too. Thank you and good night.